Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob Connor here, once again we have another video and today I'm going to be showing you this bootleg uh, knockoff uh, alien xenomorph uh, figure. Um, now I just want to say that um, I'm not sure if I've actually talked about this being a knockoff before, or um, yeah, whether I've I don't think I've actually done a video with this. I'm not sure. Maybe I've done this, or I might have mentioned it uh, in one of the other videos. I can't remember if I have oh, or not. Um, and also, um, at the moment, um, sort of at this. You know, well, just at the moment, um, sort of not got many options uh, for videos. So this was one video that I thought of. Um, there's loads of videos. Um, don't worry if you were thinking about content on this channel. Don't worry. There's loads, loads of videos coming up in the next couple of months. There's like twenty or more videos coming. So there's loads and loads of good stuff coming. Um, it's not all rubbish stuff, it's all loads loads of really good stuff coming um, on the channel. It's not going to be rubbish knockoffs like this, it's going to be all really good stuff. And that's coming in the next couple of months, really good stuff. But anyway, let's go back to this. So this is obviously the Alien Xenomorph knockoff. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be from the first movie, like the big chap, or if it's supposed to be just an alien from the second one, like a drone or something, I'm not too sure, but anyway, obviously, I mean, if it is, it's absolutely ridiculous, because, you know, if it is supposed to be the big chap, because this is the actual real NECA version of the big chap, you know, a real proper version, which is absolutely a massive figure, and an awesome figure it, at that, and if that's supposed to be that, then it's absolutely ridiculous, because, you know, the size difference is, you know, you know, is the neck, you know, real one is absolutely massive compared to the bootleg. But I, I think it might be just a drone. I don't think it's based on, um, which I don't think it is. Um, but anyway, I got it actually, I think when I actually started collecting again, uh, I think it's back in, it might have been, I think it was, yeah, I think it was back in 2020 when I started collecting um, and I just got it because I just didn't want to pay a lot of prices and I was only just learning about collecting this type of stuff um, and I just got it just because it was cheaper and then I just realised how rubbish it was and how rubbish it bootleg ones actually are, they're just rubbish quality, they're small, they're loose, they're not real necker. They're just crappy, but sometimes if you haven't got a lot of money, sometimes they do allow or okay if you're on budget. But you know, I do prefer the actual getting the necker ones, and you can get the necker ones quite cheap. I actually only paid about £20 for the big chap uh, second hand, which is quite a good deal. I think you know, in a box brand, now it's probably about £35, £40, so way more. But you know, yeah, I mean, for, for this, you know. If you're going to pay something like 15 or 20 pounds for a fake one, you might as well just get a second hand real one, you know, because at least it's a real one, you know, and it's a proper one rather than wasting money and just, you know. But obviously, you know, I didn't really, as I said, when I started collecting in 220, I didn't really know much. I was only learning about Nicker and McFarlane and all the different figures and stuff. Um, so, you know, um, so obviously, I learned from that. And now I'm going to get a replacement actually for this proper neck one um, at some stage. But, you know, I've got that in the collection and I might keep it just in, just as an extra alien. But it's just really, really rubbish. And it's just so... Um, the towel's really annoying as well. It's It sort of gets caught up. It was actually caught up on the, my real alien neck dog alien. From the third movie, it was just like caught cool, um, wrapped around it, so I had to pull it away 
literally uh, to get it to do this video because it it's on the display table with all the other alien figs so I had to literally pull it away because the, tow the annoying towel was caught up but it's yeah it's it's a pretty crappy because it's not even not a proper scale it's just a lot of really and it's sort of obviously it's obviously a Chinese knockoff crap skinny it's just skinny it's just crappy and it's just yeah it's not good I mean the mood the movements and that is it and the look but the paint job is really bad as well it's sort of like I can see like brown areas showing now I think that's where they're like the the weak very rubbish paint job is coming away actually I've only I actually just noticed that, that the paint job I'm not sure you probably guys can't see it but I've noticed like brown areas appearing on it where like the rubbish paint is coming away I think you might be able to see it there on the leg yeah that's basically all like should the dart to appear all around the body as well like all, all over it's just like a really rubbish paint job where it's started to come away it's just really bad quality and i mean some bootlegs you can get are not bad sometimes the necker fakes you can't really tell much of the difference but this is a really rubbish one but i thought i'd show you guys anyway because at the moment um i just sort of not got many videos i can think of doing um, I'm just waiting for new stuff to come in, and then over the next few months, there'll be a load more stuff. But obviously, you know, uh, a rubbish paint job, but you know, Necker is a much better paint job. Uh, I've noticed a few brands actually on that, but that may be just wear and tear. But it's not as bad as the bootleg. Obviously, Necker paint job is much better, and you can obviously, I might actually go over that in a black paint at some stage, but I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys. Um, Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video because I didn't want to do this for too long, just on a bootleg. I didn't want to waste too much time on that. Um, yeah, so guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments and thoughts if you have that necker, if you have that bootleg or any thoughts on that. Um, let me know. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more stuff. I've got loads more awesome stuff. I've got lots of NECA Predator real ones coming on the way. Um, I've got NECA Predator collection updated, figure NECA and file and collection, loads of good stuff coming. Um, that's going to be coming soon. So, but make sure you subscribe, otherwise you know, you'll miss all the stuff. So tune in to the channel and that's pretty much the end of the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. See you soon.